Hello, my name is Janet Mayled and this year I was hoping to exhibit at the Contemporary Art Fair in Stratford-upon-Avon. Well, we're all very aware of what's happened and uh, unfortunately it won't be going ahead this year. But what I hope to do is give you an insight into the work that I create and uh, what I've been doing in the past six months and what I hope to bring to the fair next year. Allotments and gardens is a theme that I never tire of. Drawn to it by the patterns and shapes that I see within the buildings and the plants. I also love that the gardeners have collected a variety of discarded materials such as the bath to create such a fascinating space, hoarding things for future use. These are for me really lovely. I'm not interested in a very tidy allotment. I'm looking for something that's eclectic and a little bit chaotic. And most certainly this one is. I was fascinated by the patterns within the greenhouses. The greenhouse in the foreground actually didn't have any glass within it. And I loved the patterns and shapes that it created. The sticks here that are piled up, I've used some scrim and string onto the surface to add texture into it, creating even more depth. I also become fascinated by the chicken wire that was over a frame in the background and enjoyed creating these patterns of little tiny circles. Painted on hot press watercolour paper and measuring 54 centimetres by 74. In this scene, there is a suggestion of the gardeners who were once there watching the bonfire, but have left their spaces. I like to suggest the people whose spaces these belong to, even when they're not in it. The foreground has a little old shopping basket on the right hand side and this draws the viewer's eye from the right bottom right diagonally into the painting and then to the hose in the background. Building again lots of lovely textures onto the surface, layering and layering to create depth. I love also these onions and their seed heads at the top and you can just see how I've added onto the surface there some seed packets to add texture. The smoke rises from the bonfire and within the, the sky I've put some torn seed packets to suggest the embers that may be flying into the air. Changing my mark making for example here, where there's dry brush strokes to add texture to the surface. During lockdown I've been working on a series of paintings of Carew Gardens near Bala which is the most idyllic little spot set above in the hills and beautifully tended. This one includes looking at the greenhouse through this fabulously um, rusty gate. I love doing portraits of people. And it's been an opportunity to work on some of the portraits I'd planned to do. And this one is of a friend, Roger, who's a wood turner. But he's also a fantastic collector of little bits and pieces of found articles. Here, his boxes are illuminated with his light. And he sits in front of his collection, which has been gathered over many years.
Again, Roger working in his workshop with his fantastic array of tools, with the sunlight streaming through the window. Last year I entered Paint the Town Blackburn, which is a painting outside competition where you choose your spot within a certain area and take all your painting bits and paint within the day and then present your outcome at the end of the day. I was very lucky to win first prize and unfortunately this year the event didn't happen but they did run it online so that people could paint from their gardens. And they asked me to create a little video of me painting this technical college within the centre of Blackburn. I love the textures of the architecture and that lovely reflective red brick. And I enjoyed the fact that there was cordons round it at the time. This only added to lead the viewer through it. I added stuff within the surface here, which is some technical instruments within the surface relating to its historic past. They're also within the sculptures on the facade here. This busy street scene in Manchester was recorded before lockdown. And again, looking at the fantastic patterning, the pavement in the foreground and the shadows cast by the commuters or shoppers. The reflections in the glass building on the right hand side and the contrast of the historic red brick buildings of Manchester and the modern. I also like the scaffolding on the left hand side and the blue tarpaulin. And these colours link together with the sign in the foreground, drawing your eye through to the modern building in the background. One of the pleasures over the lockdown was going out for a walk, enjoying my local landscape. Living in Lancashire, we have the most fantastic architecture with the old industrial sites. And this painting was created for painting Padium. I just love this chimney with the sprouts out of the top of it, now used as a bit of a mast as well. I like the contrast of the roofs and the, sh the man-made shapes in the foreground and then the terraces behind with the shadows of the chimney onto the roofs looking across to the fabulous distant hills. <laughs> 